hello everyone so in this video we will see uh, the silurate analysis of 5 transistor OTA in the continuation of uh, this series 5 transistor OTA analysis so in previous video I told few things uh, about the last signal analysis of this OTA where what I considered I considered uh, this input 1 and input 2 uh, has some common mode so my input 1 was some common mode voltage plus VDC and input 2 was only common mode so what it was it was something uh, I was sweeping only input 1 and input 2 was constant with the common mode so what we have seen that uh, with increasing this V in 1 this node X voltage also increases linearly we have seen this variation on the Y and after that I analyzed uh, that uh, in particular reason our V out increases uh, suddenly that is usually called the uh, reason of high gain if I uh, plot uh, this again just to recap it so this is just zero so what it mean uh, at this particular value my both the inputs are equal input 1 equal to input 2 equal to common mode so around the common mode what we have seen we have seen that the, uh, the output is varying so with a large slope so in this premises we can see that uh, we have a large gain in this particular region around this uh, common mode this output is varying like this this is the variation of the V out on the larger scale so this I can say uh, some voltage minus del V uh, this I can say some voltage plus del V so in this region uh, we have a large gain because the slope is large so in this region uh, gain is defined gain is defined in this region okay in that video what I did uh, simply this uh, uh, input 1 was sweeped from minus VDD2 uh, uh, means plus VDD2 so as we know that the common mode already has the value I should say common mode is set at uh, VDD by 2. So with the variation of VDC from minus uh, VDD by 2 to plus VDD by 2, we have seen that this is a large uh, uh, scale value of the output voltage which is rapidly increasing uh, near this uh, common mode voltage. So today instead of this uh, DC voltage, I will apply a step on the top of the common mode I will apply a small step which is I can say near which is uh, making your uh, V1 uh, near this region only so it means if I am applying a step and a step magnitude is not that high then what we can see uh, suppose my V in 1 is what common mode on top of that I will apply a V step so uh, step means instead of sweeping uh, my input from 0 to del v i'll apply a step of del v so this is the step of del v voltage okay zero to del v <coughs> what previously we were doing uh, we were simply sweeping the input so we were sweeping like from zero to del v with the low frequency sweep it was a low frequency sweep now it is a high frequency high frequency sweep this is also called DC sweep if uh, some of you may have this knowledge of uh, cadence tool then this is a DC sweep and it is a high frequency sweep okay so what we will do here I am applying a del V signal which is uh, not disturbing V in one much it is just giving a small step I am just giving a small step here which is a del V and I will observe what is happening at the output ok what is happening at the output <coughs> so first of all we will see that what is slewing actually what is why it is called as slew slew rate so here I would say that uh, M0 I will better to say 2i0 ok so here I am applying a step of del V on top of the common mode and uh, it is a uh, input 2 is set at common mode which is nothing but VDD by 2 and it is what this is my V step 
so again i will say v in one is what vcm plus v step so don't confuse that uh, when there is no input you are just applying a step there is already some common mode because of uh, biasing purpose some common mode is there because of biasing purpose on top of that we are applying a step so what will happen at the output first i should complete the circuit okay so if i compare this thing uh, with this gm block that i told uh, starting this 5 times 2 t nothing but a gm block which is taking the inputs so this is my input 1 this is my input 2 and this is my output and here it is a load cap okay so this is the output so what actually happens here we are generating a current that i call i out is what the signal current it is nothing but gm times v in diff v in diff means difference of both the inputs which is v in 1 minus v in 2 it is equal to v step so what current here we are getting it is nothing but i out is what i can say it is gm times uh, del b okay so what we can see here the current generated here is gm del b and here uh, no current is generated so i would say zero or uh, better to say this uh, del b is not that high which is making the i out completely zero so i will say this is not exactly zero what expression i can write here uh, better to write here due to the common mode it uh, ha it has some i naught already and it also has some i naught uh, so instead of zero i will say it also had i naught but here it is i naught plus gm del v it is uh, so here what will be uh, minus gm del v okay so here the current is increased so it means that much amount will decrease from this side so what exactly is happening here you can see so this uh, if i will talk about a small signal change what will happen this uh, gm del v which is flowing here the small signal current is copied here gm del v okay so yeah just ignore this large signal current for a reference i have written it so it means minus gm del v means the direction is this side so this side is gm del v as you can see i am writing gm so gm1 equal to gm2 equal to g that i already mentioned okay so what we can see what is i out i out is gm of input pair which is gm of 1 2 uh, uh, gm of 1 2 uh, del v two times okay because we are added so i can take it is 2 gm del so this is the amount of the current coming at the output so what is the output voltage v out is nothing but 1 upon cl integration of this current i out dt so it is 1 upon cl 2 gm del v dt so what i can say here del v 2 gm del v by cl into t so if i uh, say this is a integration <coughs> okay so what i can say v out 2 gm del v out by cl into t from here we can see what is the rate of change of output so what silhouette is saying when you are giving a step input on one side of the input uh, or you are giving both sides with a differential input what you can see how much uh, your output is changing so silhouette actually defines how faster output can change okay so from uh, this expression i will see 2 gm del v out by clt okay so it is showing what that my v out is so nothing but increasing linearly so something uh, this is defining uh, the slope is uh, this this particular thing is slope dv out by dt is 2 gm del v by cl okay so what we have seen what we have seen in this structure 
uh, when the one side the current was uh, current was I not plus GM del V because of this small step uh, GM del V was added this side and GM del V subtracted on this side. Suppose this step is that much high, the entire current is flowing through M1 only. From this we can see if your step is such large, if this del V that I say this del V is small, so that uh, I have uh, both the currents existing. One current is uh, okay. So here what I have to uh, what I started here, here ID1 is what? ID1 is your DC current minus some uh, del I, which is uh, I am writing here I naught minus GM del V. Uh, it is uh, sorry plus del V. And what is ID2? ID2 is your I naught minus GM del V. Okay. So, what uh, in this characteristic, if you see as after this common mode, two currents are uh, like going like this, one current is going there, another current is going like this. Okay, so if my this is my uh, input diff, so if my step is such large that only this current existing, this only current is existing on one side. Okay, so this is my uh, ID1, this is my ID2. Okay. So if a step is that large del V, so I can say if my step is that large, I will say del V max, del V max. In that case, what will happen? <coughs> In that case, my entire current will flow on one side. Okay. So when the entire current flows one side, it means other side is completely off. So this 2i note. When this 2i node completely flow from this side, it means this side is completely off. So it means say we have applied a step of del V max such that this complete current is flowing uh, through M1. Then what it will be? Here we will see. So the current copying here is what? It is GM del V max, I would say. And it is charging my cap CL. Okay. So what is the DV out by DT max? It is nothing but 2 GM or uh, instead of saying 2 GM, I will say GM max. Okay. This complete uh, current is flowing. I will say GM del V max by CL. And this GM del V max, I should say, is nothing but completely, uh, I mean, uh, I know I should say. Okay, uh, so GM del V uh, means this the active current is what? I know is previously was there, on top of that, I know is also there. So it is I know. Okay, so what I can see, uh, okay, this is 2 GM naught. So what do you see? 2 uh, del V out by del T. Is nothing but 2 i naught y this is the maximum rate of okay so what we can observe this output uh, which was previously nothing but slope was something 2 gm del v by cl what maximum slope we can see here this is your nothing but and complete current is going to one side okay so this is a maximum slope it is my 2 i naught y cl it is a maximum slope. This is called a slew rate. Because the current has a limitation. After some particular step, the entire current will flow one side. And that current will copy. Okay, that current will copy. So what will be the uh, current flowing? <coughs> that side, the differential current will be or GM del V max. So the entire current will flow on the one side. Uh, so output current will be completed to I node only flowing there. So what we can see, uh, this del V out by del T maximum is 2 I naught by CL. It is your slew rate. So this thing uh, I can explain in one more way. Okay, so this is the slope. Initial slope is actually nothing but uh, how fast your output is changing. So if let uh, this GM block, the same five transistor OT that I call GM. Now if it is used in uh, some negative feedback. So this is my 
input uh, positive side and this is the negative side okay so now if it is used in so what i want to show here i out so what is actually i out <coughs> here i out is what so what we are seeing here that this is the current initially uh, who is charging this particular node or this particular capacitor so what i can see your v out is uh, gm del v by cl t so what we can see this slope initial slope is gm del v by cl okay so what now we can see here uh, suppose this uh, uh, this input is increased suddenly input is increased suddenly from 0 to del v but uh, the current generated is what gm del v so i can say current is also increased to gm del v amount so what is my output initially at uh, the t equal to 0 what we can see this step is applied so capacitor is shorted so my output is somewhat 0 okay so output is 0 initially the output i will plot here so initially the output is 0 and this current is now charging this capacitor so output is increasing and the initial slope is what initial slope is your uh, gm del v by cl okay so uh, as output is developing slowly so this node is increasing this node is increasing so the difference because this point is now fixed at del v after t equal to 0 so this node is uh, fixed at del t due to this gm del v is there but as this node is increasing this v out node is increasing this node is a uh, negative node of this uh, gm block is increasing so this difference is reducing so this difference is now not exactly del v instead of this it is at something gm del v minus some voltage which i call it vx uh, i will say zero positive okay so it is something uh, gm vx zero positive okay so overall i mean to say this current the amount of current is reducing the charging current is reducing due to this the rate of charging is in, uh, reducing okay so what i mean to say at every coming instant at every coming instant this current is reducing okay so previously my current was something like uh, uh, gm del v and after that uh, this current is uh, reducing so this current is reducing slowly slowly this current is reducing and what we can see the rate of uh, charging of this cap is uh, reducing at every coming instant okay this i am showing you just a uh, discrete way but actually what i mean to say at every coming instant this current flowing through the output is reducing so this is my t1 t2 t3 t4 this is t okay and this is my v out so what we can see uh, current is reducing each coming instant why it is reducing it is reducing because what is i out i out is your gm v in 1 minus v in 2 this gm v in 1 is kept constant del v but this is nothing but v minus and this v minus is continuously increasing because this is nothing but your v out so it is continuously increasing means uh, this uh, current is reducing hence the rate of uh, charging of capacitor is reducing so from this figure we can see so this is the extra thing i told you about it so what you can see the maximum rate at which your input is in, uh, at output is increasing that is nothing but a uh, means uh, slew rate you can see when the complete current is flowing on the one side it can be at a slew rate so if you are applying a step suddenly you cannot expect that output will follow it so when we are applying a step signal of del v amount and we cannot uh, expect the output should suddenly increase it will take some time it will take some time then it will follow the input okay so output will take some time then it will follow the input so this is nothing but slew rate 
which is uh, who is limiting this output variation okay so i can say uh, that output cannot uh, very instantly this is my output voltage negative feedback this is my input okay so that is also called a speed of integration it is also called speed of integration also called speed of integration so if we have uh, infinite large current just at a particular instant when i am applying the step then we can expect that output can change instantly otherwise it will not change okay so larger the current what we can see larger the tail current in the ot larger the tail current better is slow it so this thing you can see from the design point of view design point of view if your tail current is large this is 2i not if it is large then what you can see dv out y dt 2i not y cl this cl is measurely defined from the load okay cl is defined by load cl is defined by load so we cannot do anything but this i not can be changed can be changed depending on depending on the power requirements depending on the power constraints okay so if you are increasing this i not then what you can see your uh, initial rate of output can be better rate of change of output can be better yeah so if my output for particular i not the maximum slope if this maximum slope was uh, suppose it was it to 2 i not y cl <coughs> this my i will say uh, dash 2 i not double dash y cl then i will say it definitely my i not double dash is greater than i not dash okay so <coughs> if you want uh, the better slow rate or the speed of op amp uh, better then we can uh, put more uh, slow means a more tail current but there is a limitation limitation simply the power consumption and other things also that for uh, more quotient current what you will see uh, when you will bias the input pair uh, for the biasing of input pair what we uh, what we can see vgs is what vgs is nothing but 2 id okay so if i uh, 2 i not is more means id is more uh, from particular input so this is my m1 side this is my m2 side so if i not is more it means vgs is more so what we are limited we are limited on the common mode range common mode ranges so what do you can see input signal swing input signal swing limitations because we know that what is your common mode common mode is nothing but input common mode that is uh, v in 1 minus vgs 1 or we can say v in 2 minus vgs 2 so if you are increasing the current to get the better slow rate you are increasing the vgs or i can say overdrive requirement overdrive voltage requirement of this transistor so anyway what you are doing <coughs> Uh, what we are doing we are consuming uh, means uh, uh, more headroom so it directly means that your common mode ranges are limited and many other uh, inferences can be there you can analyze i will written here i will be written, writing here two things one is the power constraints power constraints uh, means common mode uh, input swing limitations so you have to see that uh, who is influenced by slow rate who is influenced by influenced by larger slow rate requirement if this requirement is done by increasing by increasing tail current by increasing tail current of the ot tail current of the ot so this thing you have to see this can be the part of the interview then who is influencing the slow rate if you are increasing the tail current what are the limitations so it can be the part of the interview so in the entire discussion i will say 
it can be the part of your interview okay so how these things are limited you have to observe this so i think this is enough for this video once i recap i started from here this was nothing but a recap of lar signal you can see previous video where i have plotted the currents how these currents are splitting after this uh, common mode or you can say mid value then uh, what is the slope of uh, your output how the gain is defined in this region and if you are applying a particular input then what is this uh, meaning of applying a step input here and what i was doing in the previous lecture which was nothing but a dc sweep so i have explained this thing here and uh, little bit i have given the idea of a gm block uh, at the place of your ota from here simply you find the output integrate this current across the load capacitor and you can find the rate of the output so here we have again seen that what maximum step that we can apply so that the entire current is flowing on the one side only uh, that is nothing but slewing your input pair it means the entire current is flowing through the one side and your other side uh, tra transistor mean i will say the other input transistor which is m2 is now off so entire current is flowing to the uh, side of m1 and it is copied at the output so we can see the maximum rate of the output that can be in the word 2i0 by cl so this is called a slew rate so later i explained uh, this uh, if this ota is put in the feedback then what kind of response you can see and if you want uh, maximum possible slew rate then you can increase the steel current and what are the limitations of the steel current one uh, two three things i told you the power constraints and uh, when i said the common mode range will reduce and you have to analyze other things also can be affected okay so this is enough for this video thank you